There you are, boys and girls. Warm welcome along. Chris Redden with today's United Kingdom talk. And yet another guest. Another guest. Look, another guest. Hello. Say hello. Hello. And he's got an accent because he's from... <laughs> Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Oh, just a minute. I've got something for you. I've got something for you. From Yorkshire. One minute, one minute, one minute. This is exciting. Um, da, da, da. Da, da, da. Where are you from? Bradford. And where is that again? West Yorkshire. When's Ooh, the last I've time? had a flashback. Ah, I I've had a have. flashback. It's nice to see you, Mick. Blimey. Mick's come to talk about uh, and do some tarot card readings uh, for a few people that we've uh, pre-arranged on the show today. Now, um, some people take this seriously. Um, this program is more of an entertainment thing, uh, as you can understand. A disclaimer. All right, so that's that's the way it is. Now, um, I want to talk to you a bit about how you come across it and all that business. Yeah. But we'll have the first caller first because he's on a bit of a time limit. He's got okay. his own radio to show to do I in about right, 20 okay. minutes, which, quite frankly, is a bit of a waste of time because no one listens to him anyway. <laughs> but, um, oh, you're there already, James. Oh, thank you for that, my dear. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, James. Hello, Mr. Reardon. Right, this man's name is Voodoo Mick, OK? Hello, James. Hello there, Mick. Right, Mick will tell you what he wants you to, to do or say, sort of, or, or ask you Absolutely, questions. Absolutely, OK. Just follow him, all right? So, James, is there anything in particular that you're interested in asking the tarot this uh, afternoon? Or did you want to just uh, start off with a general reading? Um, I'd be interested to know if I'll ever get paid for doing the uh, the work I do. Right, OK. All right. Um, so you want to launch straight into that question there, yeah? Yes, please. OK. Um, you, you will have to... I mean, if you... The thing about... The thing I normally ask about when people ask questions like this is that, you know, I can't always tell you what you want to hear, you know, but, um, you know, so in a way, you know, it's important that you're able to be open-minded about the answer. Uh, but, uh, OK, so your question is, will you ever get paid for... The work you do. That's right, doing the radio work. Doing the radio, okay. So I'm shuffling the, I don't know if you can, yes, you can see. I'm shuffling the cards and I want you to call stop. No, he, he can't see, he, he can can't only see hear us. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, so so just, just call stop at any time, James. Um, imagining that I'm shuffling the cards and I will stop shuffling at that point and take three cards off the top of the pile to answer your question. So okay. any time you're ready. Stop. Great, excellent, okay, so. Now, what's happening now is he's putting some cards down uh, on the table in front of us, um, and I believe you're going to show them. Well, Absolutely, yeah. I was going to move the camera, yeah, no, but that's you said okay. it that's wasn't okay. necessary, no, didn't not you? not necessarily. So, what you've are. actually got here, uh, James, is you've got the chariot, the sun, and the six of swords. And at ah. the risk of sounding a little bit, um, you know, kind of happy clappy, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant for actually uh, getting a yes response um, to your question. The chariot represents your ability to move forwards and not stand still. So whatever you're doing with your radio work, um, I, I feel to say that you're progressing. Um, you're, you, it's not like, you know, sometimes one gets to a point in a, a career where you think, yes, this is it, this is, I've got it now. Um, I've got my signature tune, I've got my uh, little catchphrases, I'm here, I've arrived. But the chariot would indicate that you've still got somewhere to go. But it's somehow, with the sun, It's the sun is great, because, especially for something like radio, because um, it represents a kind of an international influence. It represents the ability for you to communicate and for many, many people to receive your benefits. If you think about what the sun does, it shines upon us all. And we all have different relationships to what that means to us. Some of us die from it and some of us get brown from it. And you know, But the sun has an effect on everybody. So this is very good for universal influence. And then at the end, you've got the six of swords and that represents agreeable relationships. In other words, your ability to have a connection with your audience, um, your ability to even interview people and have a connection there, agreeable relationships. So that is a very, very good trio to have. And so I'm, I'm very pleased to say that uh, I would say, yes, you are going to get paid for it because you have more to show than that which you are showing at the moment. Oh, that's good to hear. How does that sound? Sounds very good, yes. It's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Okay. Oh, you're, you're, you're cracking up a little bit now. Is it your end or mine? I think it might be might, might be my end here. We've uh, got quite a bit uh, going through the uh, through the desk here. Okay, I? don't worry. Uh, yeah, yeah, is there anything else that you need to ask off the back of that or either related to that or unrelated to it, uh, James? No, I, I'm of the opinion. I, I, I try... Um, I, I don't like to know too much about, uh, about what's going to happen. Sure. Uh, 
expect it to uh, to be a bit of a surprise. Um, but no, that was really interesting. Okay, good, good. Yeah, no, good luck with it. It doesn't seem to me that you need me to tell you that you know it's um, that you're on your way. Basically, it just feels to me as if you've got what it takes. That's very good to hear. That excellent. Okay, nothing else then. No, that, that, that's all, all I want to know, Chris, of course. Um, that after was a very quick time, one. I, I, would, I wouldn't have said you would have ever got paid for the rubbish that you churn out. <laughs> well, there we go, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, James. Maybe you will get a chariot as well, Chris. <laughs> oh, I ho- I'm hoping to get some chariots, yes. <laughs> See ya, thanks for calling, all right? Bye-bye. There we are, James Dean there, host of uh, The Matinee Show, the, uh, where you can find that. It's a programme where they do um, uh, they play show tunes and have a bit of a chat as well. He's got a co-host, Madam Aries. I don't suppose you've ever heard it, of that one. Have no, you? no. Okay. And uh, you can find that one by downloading from matineeshow.co.uk. Matineeshow.co.uk. So that's the first one. Sorry about the sound. The, the Skype thing can be a bit funny sometimes. Yeah, that's but fine. usually we can hear through it. That's um, fine. Very impressed. It's like... Star Trek. Are, are you impressed uh, in it? Like Is it a bit different? Because you came here, <laughs> my God, must have been about five years yeah, ago. it's been a while Four or now. five years ago now. Is, it, is this the same or is it a little bit different? Well, no. I mean, look look at the curtains. They're the same, isn't it? Terrible. <laughs> I don't, I just don't believe in replacing things like curtains. And you know, oh, like, I can't be bothered you know, with curtains. mat in the bathroom in front right. of the toilet. I mean, it gets washed <laughs> weekly. Weekly? Right. Well, that's commendable. 20 years I've had that. <laughs> that's mat. commendable. Well, 20 years. <laughs> More than mine gets washed. Now, I'm a little bit shocked that, as a Yorkshire man, I yep. offered you a cup of tea as soon as you <laughs> came in here, and um, I just assumed that Yorkshire people would have had their tea very strong. That tea bag was in the cup about <laughs> 20 seconds, and he must have put half a <laughs> bottle of milk. Have you still got the tea there? I have, actually. Not much oh, I mean, look at the most vile colour ever. Oh, it's brilliant, that. He's got about half a pint of milk in there. <laughs> I like it milky. I like dear, it dear well. me. <laughs> Not only that, but he comes up here with his cup and puts it on my new carpet. <laughs> on the new carpet. I've had to pass him over uh, a newspaper, which fortunately is only the Daily Express. Um, <laughs> so not too much problem there putting a cup on a carpet. Dear, Yuck. dear me. Now, what was I going to say now? Oh, yes. Um, that, that business about the sun there. What, what yeah. was all that about? Well, I mean, all, all the different... Um... Uh, cards represent uh, something different, obviously. Um, And um, that's my way of explaining what the sun is about. The sun is very much about expression. The the sun is very much about kind of like putting out uh, who you are, the essence of who you are, and letting other people uh, decide what um what they're going to do with that or how they're going to react to it so the, okay. sun, the sun is a i mean like i said the sun shines basically yeah. and some people love it and look some at, people absolutely hate it, it. Today. yeah what a beautiful day absolutely and, same sun though but i mean and i'm just looking at myself in the monitor there i'm as brown as anything i look at compared Unlike to you me, look how white you are i can't do that. i mean <laughs> basically i i just have prickly heat do you go yeah, do you I, go out in the sun or no no you, no. Well, you just don't like it I, no i just get prickly heat you it's get up too late don't you usually very, it's very uncomfortable uh, for me with the sun <laughs> you know how does um so you, you've done this tarot card reading and now you do it professionally yeah yeah sure you've, I've been you've doing done it. this professionally for how long 14 years 14 wow. years, yeah. It's kept me in Cronenberg for 14 years. Is that all you drink? <laughs> Cronenberg lager. Are you that one that goes... To, are you a... Um, what's it called? Uh, what's the, When you drink a lot? A, a binge drinker. A binge drinker. I, have, I used to be. I'm I not so much now with the I have seen you drunk a couple of times. Well, not very are. often. No, I really. have to say, not impressed. very often. Uh, and not recently, of course, because we don't yeah. meet much uh, yeah. anymore. But when I was working in a, a place in Camden Town, um, I saw you, you know, virtually yes. every week. And there were only a couple of occasions <laughs> where you were absolutely... Absolutely legless. Well, I'm glad there was and you did equipment. get a little bit violent then. I thought you were going to hit me. <laughs> I thought you were going to hit me while we were in that place. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you, so 14 years ago, did yes. you just wake up one morning and say, right, I want to do tarot cards? Or did something happen? Well, basically what, what it was is that I was on a, a, a course, a, a counsellor training course, training to be a psychotherapist. Yeah. And um, What is I, that? It's basically, you know, like talking, you know, uh, in a room about problems and issues, okay. you know, therapy. Oh, and um, be here all day. <laughs> so I did this uh, for two years, but the course that I actually went on was quite new agey, and there was an astrologer on that course, yes. and she was like, "Oh, I think you should work with the cards." And I was like, "Oh," oh and really? I'm like a good Catholic boy, mm. you know. Well, so same I was as like, me. I was like, "Oh, oh scary." Did I but know actually, that before? 
I don't know whether you did actually. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah, Father, you know. Son, the Holy Ghost. So they, they really did frighten me, you know. But I think anything that right. scares you has a power over you as well. So it's uh, something worth. I don't actually looking scared at. you. Yeah. Um. I've I've had a, a few supernatural experiences, which I've talked about on the show a long time ago now, uh, to do with being perhaps touched or yeah. seeing some or feeling something. Different things that have happened over a long period of time, and. Um, it's never it's never scared me. Right. Uh, there was only one bad experience, and that would have been in a pub in Vauxhall called the Vauxhall Tavern. I was working oh, there a yeah. long, long time ago now. And I had occasion to walk behind the bar, and there was no one else in the pub. Mm. I had to walk behind the bar. can't remember what I was doing. Probably looking for a roll of sellotape or something like that. And for no reason, all these bottles just shot out of the shelf at, behind, as I walked past. Mm. And I looked around and I said... Don't even try it. You're right. not going to scare me because right. it doesn't scare me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like there's life on another level. Yes. There is in this house a presence. Yes. Okay. It has never, ever made itself known to me. Mm. Okay. Except for the fact that whenever I go away, I feel I need to come home soon. Oh, right. I always feel drawn yes. back towards this house. Right. It has never, ever made me feel uncomfortable. I, d I don't even feel it's here. The only reason I know it's here yeah. is because when other people have been left alone, never family, right. okay, never family, yes. when other people have been left alone here, things have happened. Right. Um, yes. Walking around in my bedroom. Right. Okay. Um, the video recorder going on and off downstairs. Right. When it goes on, well, I haven't got that anymore. Video recorder, do you? <laughs> what year were I born? Uh, no, when I had a video recorder, it would come on and it would say, hello. Yes. And then it would go off and say goodbye. And no one was touching the buttons. Yeah. That happened to someone. Right. And the other thing was someone was sitting at my, my piano. Yes. Well, I'm not keen on people touching my piano. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Right, yeah. Um, touching my piano, and I got this phone call. And he said, so you coming home? I said, yeah, why? He said, I was sitting there, and suddenly on your piano, and it went icy cold. He said, I really mean icy cold. It was like a sudden rush of wind went past him, and it was freezing. I said, we well, better get off the piano. Right. I, I knew. Right. I know. So whoever is here... Right. Looks. Oh, what on earth that. is that? Turn my phone off. Is that your phone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that. I wonder what was going on. <laughs> I th yeah, I thought it was a voice. <laughs> I thought it was a voice then, dear. Angelic <laughs> message. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and um, so I came home, and you know, right. once again, there was nothing. Yeah. I will say that. I, I do a bit of praying on the cafe yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at night time just before I go to sleep. Always have yeah, done from a little yes. boy. Still do it now. Yeah. And uh, I actually talk as well to, I call house friend. I call it house friend. Right. Whoever it is, yeah. is house friend. Yes. And I kind of um, say, just want to say thank you for letting me share the house cool. with you and all that. Cool. Yeah. And it's just brilliant. Yeah. And even now, right now while I'm sitting there talking, I've got a lovely feeling come over me, yeah. coming from my head going down my back now. Good. Not a nasty yeah. feeling, a yeah. lovely feeling. Yeah. And on other occasions where I've had sort of experiences like that, um, I have attempted to talk yes. to whatever is going yes. on around me. Doesn't scare me at all. Um, why, why should it? Yeah, exactly. You know, what, what, I, what have I exactly. done to you know upset a Absolutely. spirit? I would never do yeah. that. Yeah. So there we are. Yeah. I wondered if you'd had anything like that, and that's what brought you into this. It wasn't oh. really. It wasn't really having experiences with spirit. No, because I mean, like when I started doing tarot fourteen years ago, I didn't really have any experience mm. of anybody that had passed on. Yeah. You know, since then, you know, like, uh, you know, my yeah, parents yeah, died yeah. and so on. So mm. since then, but mm. to actually get me going with the tarot, it, it was literally just. Um, fascination with people and what makes them tick okay and realizing that there's a system there that um there is every, there is a symbol in that system for every kind yes. of thing that we can go through you know so that's what fascinated wow. me so it. you just went out and bought a set of cards or when you I, went to see this lady or, or uh, well no she lent me her cards yeah. and, and that mm. was just like a revelation i asked it a question yeah uh, turned <clears> over a card knew exactly what the answer was uh it wasn't what i wanted to hear you know but it really did you, you know, did it for yourself it. yes yeah which is oh. something that other people say you shouldn't do yes especially other readers say that you shouldn't do it for yourself right. uh, Oops, which i think is a little yourself, bit yeah. um 
disempowering, you know, so mm. as I think you should do it for yourself. Um, but uh, that, that, yes. the, the, do you remember the first time you turned over yeah, a card? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Do you want to tell me about yeah. that? Well, it was just basically about. Um, it was a question about um, work, really. Right. And I remember the. I remember the particular card. It was the Four of Wands, and it was a particular job that I wanted to go for. And oh. it said, "No, you, you, you know, don't go for it. Don't, don't go. It won't happen, basically, because what okay. you're going to do is this, this, and this. You know. Did you go for it? It, I just, it just didn't happen. Yeah, I did go for it, but it didn't happen at exactly all. As the exact, card exactly said. as the card yeah. said. Yeah. Mm. And then I was just obsessed. You know, I was just like filling in book notebooks and sort of testing myself wow, out, yeah. doing it for everybody. You know, that and, that was uh, you know not 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 charging or anything. Not like charging you were just doing for a while. It. Yeah, just getting the practice. So too. at the time you'd started doing this, did you have another job as well? At the time, I was um, actually so, uh, between it, jobs. It, it kind of started as a hobby, yeah? It started as a hobby, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. you weren't working at the time. I wasn't working at the time, which is probably okay. why I could spend so much time messing with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now you have to live. Right, yes. obviously. So yeah. you now charge usually yes, for readings yes, yes. and that. Yeah. Are you doing this for money? Not to, not with you. I'm not. But uh, yes, I do do it for. I do do it for money. Yes. Right, but yeah. that wasn't the point of learning to do it, was it? No, I don't think there's there's much easier ways of making money than mm. this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, so I, don't, I don't think you I'm know, a greedy person. You know yeah. the stuff I do, uh, the yeah. karaoke, the DJ and all that. And, you know, let's not get this wrong, I'm, I'm well paid for what yes. I do yeah. now. Yeah. But it was never about that when I started. It no. still isn't to a yeah. point. Yeah. There are jobs I do that... Um, are a great deal of effort. Yes. Um, I've just started one on a Friday night in Birmingham. Yeah. And it is a great deal of effort to get there and back. Yeah. However, it is a challenge. Yes, yes. And I might end up making a lot of people dance and smile. And that's, number one, that's what that is to me. Number two, I get paid. Yes. And it's a similar it. thing for you absolutely, as well, Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. I don't really do things for money, which is mm. probably to my detriment. Right, yeah. yeah. If you turned a card there... Yeah. Um, doesn't matter who's, who's reading it is could it tell you they were going to die soon and would you tell them would yes te- so you yes. would know but you wouldn't pass it on oh no 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 I mean if it comes up I mean mm-hmm. I, I, I trust my, my, my cards yeah. and I think that everything that comes up uh, comes up for a reason um, mm-hmm. and it may tell you that there is uh, something coming up that you should really sort of watch out about. I mean, the thing is, like, at the risk of sounding really controversial, I don't know, it's controversial, there's a lot of astrologers out there mm. that claim to be Princess Diana's astrologers. Yes. There's a <laughs> lot of astrologers <laughs> well, that I'm one all of them, sort of like holding their hand going, I did her astrology <laughs> and I just think, did nobody ask her to wear a seatbelt? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, All the yeah. stuff that she must, mm-hmm. all the because she was apparently a bit of a junkie for it, you know. And I just think I've what tarot the, card readings? Oh, was astrology, she? she was a bit of a yeah. Okay. She was really into it all. Mm-hmm. And I just thought of all the readings she had, would, <clears throat> would somebody not have said to her, you know, make sure you're okay in car? So I think it would have come up like I think it would come up like that. It wouldn't say you are going to die and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. It would only come up if it was to empower you, right? You know. So it's it's good for. Warnings as well. It's good for warnings. You you could give me a warning which could make me avoid the outcome. Absolutely, that's the thing. Wow. Yeah, and if if you're not, if if you're, if anybody is Mm. going to a reading, Mm. whether it's a reading with me or a reading with anybody, and Mm. they don't feel empowered by it, they don't feel informed or that they've got any control. If it, because a lot of readers will sort of, um, you know, kind of do a power trip. You know, you're this, Mm. you're that. Yes. Then um, really, you know, don't listen. You know, mm. because it, it has to work for the person that's being read for. There was a guy that you did a reading for five years ago. Um, Peter was his name. I don't know if you... Do you remember people or not really? Oh, you it's know, a lot of people, it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, Peter. And um, he asked about his health. I don't think I've spoken to you since this, actually. No. And you told him, oh, yes, well, mm, you're doing all right. You'll be all right. Yeah. Okay. He had a very serious lung condition. Did he? At the time? Yes. Yeah. Which, of course, I wouldn't have told you. Yes. I have to tell you, all our, uh, we've got three people, uh, hopefully, that we'll be calling today, and you know nothing about any of them. No. I, I know a lot about right. all of them, okay? Right. You know nothing about any of them. Uh, and you, indeed, you knew nothing about him. Uh, that was five years ago. He's still here. Yeah, cool. And you told yeah. him he yeah. still would be here. Yeah. Yeah. You've done readings for me. Yeah. They've all turned out right as well, I think, uh, really. Right. I remember you said to me I would have a summer romance last time, which was a couple of years ago, wasn't it? And I did indeed have a summer romance. 
summer lasts about two weeks in this country, <laughs> but it was a summer event. <laughs> <Excellent. laughs> All right, Mick. Let's okay. uh, try and get someone else up on the phone now. Uh, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you as well about because it's not you just do tarot card reading. You do. There's a lot more to you than reading the tarot cards, isn't oh, there? Right, you're, one, okay. you're sitting there wondering what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. Don't, I'm no, just no, completely don't at the panic edge. for God's sake. <laughs> don't panic for God's sake. All right, let's uh, let's try and give a. Uh, Millie call. Now we're going over to the States now. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Millie in Minnesota. Hopefully she'll be with us uh, in a second now. We're just uh, rigging the thing there. There she is. She's just putting a, you're just putting your headset on, aren't you, Millie? Yep, hang on one second. Oh, come along, dear. You, you've, she's been staying up all night for this. Oh. Okay. Yep, I have. Hello, Millie. Hi. Hello, Hello Millie. Millie. This is Michael. Is this your first transatlantic reading oh uh, to be honest you know, I've, I've done you know because i do I'm on the oh phone line, so oh I, I, I thought this was a <laughs> first for you oh i don't know why i bother up <laughs> let me chair cover keeps coming off here terrible i keep meaning to deck your chair covers millie i've got uh michael with you with me hi michael nice to meet you hello millie nice to meet you too and uh, he'll he'll tell you what to do, all right? Millie, just just play along, my darling. Okay. Millie, is there a particular question that you're interested in asking about? Or do you want to start off with something a little bit more general? Let's do something a little bit more general first. Okay. All right. So I'm going to be shuffling the cards. I don't know if you... They can't see me. They can't okay. see you, no. Okay. I'm shuffling the cards. Um, I want you just to call stop at any point, And then at the point you call stop, I will uh, you, deal off some cards from the top. Do you know what? I think it, it may be possible for her to see you, actually. Um, yeah, let me hit my video button. Uh, no, let me do it, Millie, because I don't want to. If possible, I don't want your video. Um, All right. Because that may uh, do the. Let me try this. Or, it, or you may come up. I'm not sure, Millie. Yep, it's coming. I can. I can see. It. Hang on. Hold it. There you go. Millie's actually over there. But, yep, there uh, we go. Okay, yep. Yeah. I see you, Chris. All right. Hello, Millie. Okay, so just call stop at any point, Millie, and I will stop shuffling at that point. Okay. Stop. Right, okay. So um, I'm going to have a look at elements of your past, elements of your present, and elements of your future, giving us an idea as to where you are on your life path. And once we've achieved that portion, then we can move on to a question if you have one. Um, the first thing that I'd like to say to you here is that you are represented, first, for the first card that was uh, turning up here is the Queen of Swords. And that represents a very strong-minded woman. And it represents uh, possibility, the possibility of you needing to say something that some people don't really want to hear. Um, and this could be to do, are you working at the moment? No, I'm not. Right, okay. When it comes to... Are you wanting to work in a particular area? Is um, that, or is work not particularly on your mind? Because what it looks to me is it's either to do with work or practical matters. Financial stuff, skills, and it's as if you have a point of view that sets you apart from everybody else around you. And this point of view is something... It's quite hard-edged um, in that you have to prove yourself somewhere. Now, it might be work or it might be to do with a financially related matter, but you are incredibly strong and you are also somebody who has towed the line quite well in the past. You know, when it comes to situations like maybe family or friends, I think you've been there for people and you have held it together for people. But I feel that now is a time for you to become arguably a little bit more selfish and um, not so uh, accommodating or diplomatic and this will actually change your social life and it will change even your family life. Uh, so that people, who've known you, who, people who know you quite well will actually see a different side of you and that side could be a little bit more ruthless. And it feels to me as though by becoming a little bit more ruthless, you get more emotional satisfaction from people around you, friends and family in the long run by saying, the edgier stuff or coming up with a, a, a point of view that is almost quite a risk you you actually sort of break open a new a new way of being for yourself which which invites more warmth into your life so in other words instead of doing things that you think other people want you to do for them and playing a part which is a very practical part oh we love Millie because she bakes a good cake type of stuff it's more about 
she's quite edgy she's quite opinionated she's quite forthright but we really like that that authenticity there that's what comes up for me on your behalf and I just feel that there's somebody around you who is holding back and dragging dragging you down a bit and you're very good at being strong for them um, and I think that there is a point here in this connection where it's running it's, it's, it's kind of getting it's running it's thin flying. somehow it's, it's, it's sort of getting to a point now where um, a different phase has to come in and you can't afford to be dragged down by somebody who really doesn't want to do what they should be doing that's okay. what comes up for me I don't know if any of that makes sense to you or not a lot of it does right. as a matter of fact all of it does right okay do you know anybody that's with, absolutely pegged do you, do you know anybody with the astrological sign of Libra around you yes right okay um, because I just feel a little bit of a challenge concerning a, a Libran person yep you're oh. right okay all right is there any particular question that you'd like to ask at this point um not so far right okay um well what i'll do then is i'll ask you to call stop once again and i'll take another three off the top of the pile at that point okay stop okay the nine of cups the high priestess and the two of wands i think there is something here that you know because the high priestess is very knowledgeable very knowledgeable female archetype there and it feels to me as though you have held back on that it's almost like if you have a car that can go 120 miles an hour and you're always sort of chugging along in th at 30 miles an hour that's okay but sooner or later you might want to test the power of your own experience and i think that at the risk of repetition it's saying that somebody needs to hear what you've got to say somebody needs to um experience your point of view and you have been and, and for so far it's been you've taken the easy path which is i know what i know but i'm not really going to kind of lord it on anybody i know what i know but i'm not going to say it but my feeling is that you are going to have to express something to somebody and it may well be that once you've said it you can't go back to the way it was Mhm. Mm okay yep all right anything else that you'd like to ask before we finish no nope. <laughs> no you've got me absolutely pegged this is <laughs> okay what all about right. what about something maybe that um you're thinking about for the future millie um he's, he's told you all about yourself there on your general um thing there do you know um you know, perhaps there's something that you're wondering about might or might not happen, or perhaps a particular path that she might want to take. And yeah, I mean, you can't say say yes or no, but oh, you no. can just advise. Yes, absolutely. I'll see, what, see what the cards yeah, say. Yeah, Is there absolutely. anything like that, Millie? Right. Could um, be anything: money, <laughs> health, relationships. Relationship. Yep. Relationship. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you asking about any particular individual? Um, I'm asking if i'm going to be on my own okay oh. all right then okay so thinking about that question just call just give me the word stop at any point okay stop right okay so are you going to be on your own okay here, here's the answer and like i said it, you know when 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 somebody asks a question which is kind of like a yes or no I always get the feeling that they suspect that one answer is going to be preferable to them than another. And sometimes I can give that to them and sometimes I can't. Um, in, in, in this, so, you know, like I'm imagining that you would love to hear that, um, no, you won't, you won't be on your own. Um, what I will say to you here is that it says to me that, yes, you will be on your own. And the reason why you will be on your own is because there is a part of you that operates within you a part of your unconsciousness that says I can do things better on my own I, I, I actually can mm. sort things out I can be organized I know where I am when nobody's messing me around <clears throat> so my answer is yes you will be on your own but please don't take that as absolute or don't take that as fatalistic because you have control what you need to do if you don't want to be on your own is you have to maybe risk um, the chaos of somebody coming into your life because at the moment it feels like you're in the driving seat you don't want to share and I'm not criticizing by the way I'm not saying that that's a wrong thing I'm just saying I'm just observing it that you you are doing quite well 
with the power within you um, but it doesn't give anybody how do I put this it doesn't give anybody any idea that they've got any role for you if that makes sense because you're quite self-contained yes so if you don't want to be on your own at some point because I mean sometimes it's, it's okay to be on one's own uh, right for a certain amount of time but you would have to kind of like um, admit that you need somebody and I think that the larger part of you, the larger part of your psyche is saying, I don't need anybody. I'm quite powerful. Um, I'm quite practical. I'm do doing things. Um, and that's great. But it might have the, the side effect of it. The byproduct of it is it might keep you um, it might keep you outside of relationships because a relationship is a chaotic event. Um, yeah. And, and it, you know, we have to compromise on some level. Yes. OK, is that OK? That sounds great. It's you're very amazing, like me, Michael. Millie. Actually, I mean, to, as you know, you know, I, I'm on my own as well, and I would yeah. like to find someone. Um, but that's the truth of it, you know. When someone comes into my life, and it's been a while now, but when they do, it's absolute chaos. Yeah, absolute chaos. Is it the same for you, Millie? Yes, it is. Mm. Um, because you have. To, you know, I do lead, as you know, Chris, a very solitary existence mm -hmm. and have for a number of years. And when you, as you know yourself, when you um, are on your own for a long period of time, you tend to get a bit, I won't say stubborn, but uh, set I, in I your know, ways. I, I, I would use that term. I, I would say I'm stubborn. Stubborn. Yes, you know, I stubborn, would say so. set in your ways. You know, you, you know how you like things. You know how, you know how you like things in your house. You, you yes. know, you know the things you like. You know what you don't like. And then when somebody comes in, it's like, whoa! It's wait a difficult second. to share. Let's be honest. It's difficult to share. Is it? And mm -hmm. I have often. Um, thought, for example, here I am in my house on my own. So it's difficult to accept someone coming in. Yes. And I think sometimes the answer to that is to sell up and go somewhere. Say, say, say someone came along tonight. Yeah, I, say, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah, yeah. there's yeah. always chance. There's always yeah. chance. Yeah. And I think that's what keeps one going. Yeah. The fact that there is always hope. Yes. You don't know how many people have said to me. Um, it just happened. Yeah. It came from out of the blue. Yeah. And that is certainly what keeps me going. Yes. It really does. Yes. I, I, I'm still expecting some bloke to walk in. Yes. Bang. That's it. Yeah. I don't know why yeah. I, I do. Yeah. Um, but often, you know, if, if I am sitting here in everything that I own and someone comes in, mm. and that's very hard. Yes. Very hard to share yes. everything you've got. Maybe the answer to that is to sell up and together buy or or rent yeah somewhere together and then you are you are starting from scratch yes absolutely it's a big it's a big step to do it but i know i was interested with you millie when you said something about when, when when we started talking or when you brought it around to the subject of home or sort of sharing the home is there something that needs to be done around your home that's that's going to take about a year or something now be careful here um uh, millie because he, he does painting and decorating as well <laughs> yeah and he's trying to get a job <laughs> i know it, it's a long it, way yeah. minnesota <laughs> <laughs> you'd never catch me with a paintbrush so is, this, never. is it no me neither i oh, hate it no. i hate it this i didn't do this room no, i had to pay a bloke to come in and do no, it oh, i'm gonna like this cost here <laughs> but is there something that you need done around your ass millie um, not necessarily around the apartment, but, um, I just, I just know that right now, because I'm single, I'm very set in my ways and very particular about yes. how I want things done and how I want, how I want certain things you know, in other words, this doesn't belong over here. It belongs over here. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. Well, it's like Mick with his teacup. You know, it does, <laughs> yes. certainly doesn't belong on my new carpet, dear. <laughs> but I, I, I think that uh, there's so. I mean, this may not make, make sense. I don't know. But it, what I feel prompted to say here is that there's something that needs to be sorted out. And it might have a lot to do with where you live or how you live. And over the next year when you sort that out and it's possibly that just about rearranging the furniture 
um, in a certain way. Yeah, right. um, and and it might then be easier once you've done this um, to actually kind of attract somebody into your life. Because on one level, there, there, is, there is shown to be a passionate man who would love to get close to you. But I think if he walked into your life today, it wouldn't happen whatsoever because he wouldn't see how to talk to you, how to get in with you, how, how, what, what, what role would he play? Um, so, you know, the no is not absolute, but it is pretty much a no for now. Okay. And I, I, I can tell you a bit about Millie. You're a bit about her being a, a very strong character and all that. Yes, she is. Right. She's, she's, a, she's, and, and a good laugh right. as well. She's a very strong character, aren't you, my darling? I try to be. Yeah. 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 I do have my moments, but you know, it's because of a lot. Because of a lot that's happened to me throughout my life, I've had to develop inner strength, yes. backbone, yes. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. You, you uh, know um, a, a lady who does um, cards as well, do you? Yes, Sorry, I do. What was it you were telling me the other day? Her name is Sarah. Right, and, and what does she do? She does the same thing that Nick does, but she's also a medium. Okay. So she can uh, be the kind of connection between uh, yes. different yes. platforms Yes, and if you life, remember... I had pointed you in her direction. Yes, I remember. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. She did send me a little uh, little message the other day, and I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't quite work out what was going on. To be honest, uh, no disrespect to her, but I, I didn't know what was, what it meant. Right. I can't remember what it was now. Um, let me see if I've still got it on here. No, I haven't got it on there now. And I, I kind of replied to her, lovely, lovely looking lady, I have to say, and probably a really very nice person, you know, as 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 you've told me, haven't you? She is. I've known her for about seven years now, and she's we're sisters under the skin. I'll put oh, it like that. Oh, lovely. That's nice. Maybe I'll meet her one day as well, Millie. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you want any oh. ask any questions on on how the whole tarot card thing came about for Mick, or or, or uh, anything like that at all? Or are you happy now? Exactly. How did it? How did that happen anyway? Mm. Well, he's told me already how he started. Um, one thing I've noticed, Mick is the cards you have there am i allowed to touch them? yeah yeah of course you are it's not yeah, like a yeah uh, do, are some people funny of them touching your cards or uh i mean i'm happy for anyone to touch my cards okay. you know i mean <laughs> they're basically just just pictures yeah and a, a little caption at the top if i might say so uh, some really beautiful pictures um are these pictures exactly the same on all tarot cards? No, not at all. I mean, different designs. There's different different designs. You know, okay. I mean, they all do the same thing. But it's like, for example, this this here, the Nine of Cups, is a card that represents satisfaction. And um, can I just say that that's a picture of it? It looks like a, a prince or something like that. And above him are nine gold um, cups or goblets. Um, type type yeah. thing, aren't and, they? And, and, and sort of like the the, the uh, one of the accepted. Um, um, meanings of that card is satisfaction now yes. any artist who, who chooses to paint 78 pictures yes. would, maybe would paint satisfaction the concept of satisfaction in yes, a different yes, way yes. and they'd probably include nine cups somewhere on the scene you know okay but yeah, yeah you know it's like and, and then the, you know i mean there's a lot of purists out there that say oh well it you know it has to be this particular way mm. or whatever you know and uh, but that's basically what it is it's 78 um different expressions of life right. and that, that one is satisfaction your cards are very old yeah I, um yeah. Is there a reason that, uh, do you kind of, that's the set you started with? It is, it's more or less the set I started Are you with. Feel, would you, if I, if I suddenly produced another yeah. set of cards and go, right, do it with that. Yeah. Would that's, it make no, any difference fine. at all? No, it wouldn't. Oh, really? Wouldn't okay, so they're not okay. like special to you, those cards. They are special to me, but only in the way that... Um, what if you lost them today? I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't no. like that, but I would. I would still be able to do my work. Um, you know, it's a little bit like you know. You might get kind of like. I mean, I, I get quite. Um, I keep get quite a, uh, attached to pens. Yeah. Do you know pens. I mean? Yeah. You know, if you lose. Oh a really? Pen, you know, like, you, you oh really? Because I have to tell you, Millie, he comes to my karaoke <laughs> nights, right? And on these karaoke nights, I have to give out pens and bits of paper. Well, I have noticed over the last few weeks that pens have been going missing. Well, what Is it you? Say? Oh what dear! You He's sticking my pens, Millie. <laughs> you, you are Shame like on you, Michael. Yeah. Oh, no, it's terrible, isn't it? You can't get the staff. Mm. If you come on the Mondays, uh, I know you don't come every week but yeah. you come when you do um 
And uh, Mick actually comes to Belushi's in Hammersmith, Millie, uh, where we do the karaoke every Monday night from nine o'clock, if anyone else wants to come down. Belushi's in Hammersmith, Monday nights at nine o'clock for the karaoke. And I have to tell you, Millie will be coming over to the UK oh, nice in one. September, and she's hoping to come to our karaoke night, aren't you, my love? Yep, I am. What are you going to sing? Do you know yet? I don't. I'm going to have to take a look at your little catalog thing. <laughs> My little catalog. Okay. <laughs> Millie, thanks very much for the call, all right? Not a problem. All right, take care. Thank Bye-bye you, now. Michael. Bye, Millie. Take care. Cheerio, Millie. Cheerio. She's a lovely lady. She is in Minnesota. Yeah. She often listens, uh, uh, calls into the show or something like that. Let's just um, close that down. We've got uh, one more caller, hopefully. Now, there he is, and I'll... Uh, Let's just send him a little message and uh, tell him tell him we'll be there in a minute. Oh, what have I done there? Did I do something then? Yeah, we're in two minutes. Okay. Lovely. How are we doing for time? We're not doing too bad. Anyway, um, so do you you do this now as a job? Yes. So where would we? F- what does someone ring you? Or, yeah, I mean, or you've got little ring. cards and yeah. news agents and that sort of thing. Well, people ring me, and I, um, I sort of work from a shop in Ealing. And Look, I it has to be said, you know, you've been doing it for a while now. Yeah. So I suppose you've got uh, regular yes, yes, customers. Yeah, what, what, what do you call? What would you Cli- call? Them? I'd call them clients. Clients, yeah, regular clients. Yeah. So, but at first, yeah. how does one get around? Say, I just started yeah, oh, no yeah. when you just started so, how did you get the word around obviously yes. you were doing these readings for people for free yes now yes, yeah. do those people still come to you now and pay for those readings or have the free ones kind of disappeared and these well, are the, the-, fr- the free ones were mostly like friends and friends of friends right. basically but uh, and then i just sort of like um printed up some leaflets and went to uh, there was actually a new, uh, a new age shop that had just opened around the corner a new, so, a new a what? A, a, a new age shop. What is uh, that? You know, then? it's like a, a shop that sells um, wind chimes and crystals. Oh and yes, yes. Astrology yes. books. And I've so got like. a crystal somewhere. Uh, oh, uh-huh. yes. You can tell me what this means, then, oh, okay. can't you? Oh, I'm. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll disappear when when you when I'm talking to someone else, and I'll go and get that for you. Right. Okay. You can tell me if that means anything. It sits in in the spare room, to be honest. Um, yeah. So so this, this yeah. shop had just opened. I was just about ready to sort of like go for it with the public and this this shop by coincidence had opened up just around the corner where I lived right. so she, uh, and I just went in and said oh you know would you, would you like to have a reader here you know and uh, so it was ah. a really really good coincidence so you actually set up in the shop yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah 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 and so that's um, and that's how it started really and how would so literally just people browsing in the shop would come in yeah that's say, it oh, oh, oh yeah. that's interesting yeah I'll have that done I'll have a go yeah yeah yeah. And at the beginning, did you did you, did you have many customers? Did yeah, so, no, it was, you know, it was, for it ten was people that came in the shop, how many would come to you? I think about you know twenty percent or something like oh, that. Oh really? Yeah, you know. So that so. and that paid the bills. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, at the okay. Time, you know, and it got it got better mm. and bigger and. Any other ways of of um I mean, kind of? Ex- are you yeah. still in that shop? No, no. That's, so that's where, shop where can. People find you now. People can find me um, through you. Yes, <laughs> they yes, can of email course, you. Yeah. Um, and I do telephone readings and um, oh, I right, do psychic yeah. fairs around the M25. You know, I mean, basically, I, I'll read a, anywhere there's a, a table and two chairs. Quite frankly, right? You know, it's like. A and is there a website? Um, there is a website. Um, is this your own website? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. can give that okay, out. Okay, that's so all right. Yeah. That's michaelwysocki.com. Oh, you're that's, gonna. You'll have to spell on that <laughs> that's one. Michael and then w y s o c k y j dot com. All one word. michaelwysocki.com. All right. And, uh, yeah, that's my website. Just spell that again. Michael. M i c h a e l w y s o c k y j dot com. All right, and you can find out all the information on there where Mick um, goes out and does it, does it say it. where you're going to be and everything else to yeah, kind of yeah. keep it quite up to date. Uh, well, you know, the phone it's got num- my phone number there, you know. Yeah, so, the, f- the phone yeah, number readings yeah. and all that business. That's it, yeah. Uh, how does that work with the phone number readings then? Well, um, basically, they yeah. ring me at a, a particular time. Is it a premium rate number? Like, no, it's just they just ring my flat, you know, and uh, oh. I have a, a kind of like tape, you know, I can I connect it to a tape machine so yes. rec- everything's recorded and the tape is sent to them. Your calls are important to us. Yes. Please be aware you may be recorded for training purposes. That's it. That's it. Yes. <laughs> so, how does one um, be paid for a telephone? If it's well, not a pre, yeah. I just assumed it was one of those one pound fifty no, a minute no. things. It's um, it's basically they either send me a check or they can do it via PayPal on the internet. Oh, really? Yeah, they can pay me. Okay. Yeah, so, and how long would a reading be on the phone? Typically half an hour. Typically half an hour. Okay. Yeah. How much would that cost, sir? Uh, Thirty. 
Thirty pounds yeah. half hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Now let's let's try and get our other lad up now. Uh, if he's, I'm I'm kind of hoping he's going to be with us. Let's, shall we try and call him? Uh, Ter- this is Terry Turner. We're going to now back to the UK. He's in Huntingdonshire. Okay. Um, can be a bit hard to get hold of sometimes. Even even when I've rung him and warned him that we're trying to get hold of him. So we'll see if uh, if that's going to come on there. I'll try him on his mobile phone as well. <laughs> You'd think they'd be ready, wouldn't you, Mick? You know, this moment of excitement there. <laughs> I don't know. He may not be there now. Let's see. Because we have left it a bit late. It's a bit late. I told him between a right. certain time. I'm not sure he's going to be there now. Never mind. Oh. Ah, oh, there you are. Are, are, we on the, are we on the phone yet? Are we on the, um, are we on the Skype yet? Yes, I've tried to ring you on there. Look, it's ringing. Can you see it? We will bear with you. Okay, it's very kind of you. Yes, we've got him on the mobile. So we've just got to pick him up on the Skype then and we can uh, bring it through here to the studio. Whenever you're ready. Oh, he does rate another person who does oh, radio it? shows. Right. It's not like this at all on the radio. No, it's all very, <laughs> very, um, in there. Come on now, where are you? You ready? Are you going to call me or shall I call you? Oh, he's there. How marvellous. There we are. Right. right. Hello there. Yes, we've got you. Marvellous. And I'll tell you something else, Terry. One second. All right. Especially for you. Just coming through here. There we are. You can see us as well. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> right. Don't send me your video because of the, uh, the computer. I might uh, have too much to do then. Oh, you wouldn't okay. want to see me. Now, we can't look straight at you because I'm looking at... Uh, we're looking at that one over there, all right? So you're on the side, but we're looking forward, OK, Terry? So oh, just fabulous. so you know what we're doing. This is Mick. Hello, Terry. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm not I'll so bad. Thank question. you very much for asking. Oh, good, good. Uh, is there any particular question that you'd like to ask uh, this afternoon? Um, or do you want to just see what comes up generally? Uh, let's see what comes up, shall we? OK, so I'm going to be shuffling the cards. And if you can just call stop at any point, and then I will stop shuffling and deal off the top of the pile. Right, OK. OK, so any time you like. Stop. OK, great. And um, I shall see um, what we get for elements of your past, elements of your present, and elements of your future, giving us an idea as to where you are on your life path. And uh, once we've achieved that portion of the reading, we can then move on to other things. Now, what comes up for me to say to you, Terry, is that there seems to be a couple of things that you need to do and it's dragging somehow. It's like a couple of projects or a couple of responsibilities. One of them, at least one of them, is a creative responsibility or a, or a, or a plan that you have. And it's like, oh, uh, you know, it's, it's about getting motivated, I think, or just getting on with it, really. Um, because I think that once you put those plans into action, your life really changes in a big way. It's not subtle. Um, there is a, a massive leap of um, <laughs> change of life direction, really. Um, and it's, it, I'm not saying this is ac- actually what would happen, but it's a little bit like if somebody emigrates um, or, you know, has this absolutely massive change of plan. And uh, I think that you, you ponder this and I think you say, well, I, you know, I could really do this. But then it's almost like, oh, I won't bother. I'll, I'll, I'll just do it tomorrow or I, I won't actually kind of get on with it. So I think you're a bit afraid of your own success. And I think you're a bit afraid of your own ideas because they're big ideas. And I think that they could really give you a very, very satisfying life. But sometimes it's that kind of fear of change. Um, and it's in the short term, there's lots of little different obstacles that can get in the way. Um, almost like, oh, well, I won't really think about it until I've done the washing up or I, I, I've got this little row going on with somebody here. So I'll, I'll put all my energy here and, and, and stay stuck. Whereas actually, I think that you're um, just sort of not being who you are in terms of your creativity and in terms of your power. And you, you kind of deal with little bits and pieces and make them very important. I'm sorry if this sounds critical. It's not meant to be critical. It's just an observation. Um, dealing with all these bits and pieces, or I'm, I'll get round to the big plan once I've sorted out this and that and this little thing and that little thing. And um, I think your life is waiting and I think your creativity is telling you the ideas to have. 
um, but it's sometimes difficult for you to actually assume you can have that kind of success so yeah, i don't know if that helps or makes sense at all yes definitely i, I was interested to know why chris had a chuckle at, at the beginning <laughs> i think i know why but well, the thing is terry of course i know you and i know you very well mick knows absolutely nothing about you um he comes here and he, he, he has never met you, never doesn't know anything about you. I do not prepare him for anyone who is about to talk for him. And I'm listening to him chatting away, and I know what you've been up to and what you're Absolutely. trying to achieve and everything. And my God, it's down for a T. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Absolutely. Spot on. Uh, and I, I would say as well, with, with regards to the uh, with regards to actually getting around to doing something, what I've been putting off for quite a while is actually getting um, a a show reel of audio together to send out to different radio stations, and I keep putting it off. Yeah, it, it just feels to me as if all these you're making important things that are not important, and that which is crucially important, you keep putting it at the bottom of the pile. Mm. That's right. I do. Um, the, the only thing I, I think there, Terry, is uh, Terry runs a radio station. Yeah. He's just started this radio station. That's the whole creative thing. Is is just down to a T, as right. you always are. It's just down to a T. The only thing is, he's never been involved really in somewhere that would tell him what to do. If right. you see what I mean. Yes. Everything he does at the moment. He's kind of in complete control of himself, as indeed I am. Right. And that's certainly what stopped me sending yes. off CDs to radio yes. stations. Because I don't want to go somewhere. And of course, I'm, I mean, he's got the age advantage over me. He's still young, so he may right. be able to accept this. But you go past a certain age, and you know the way that you do things. Yes. And the last thing you ever want, if someone come along and say, well, actually, can you do it like this? Yes. I don't think so. Right. And I just wonder, Terry, because you've been doing this so long and, and successfully so, whether you could now fit in a box, so to speak, mm, uh, with it's an all its rules thought. and regulations, you know. It's certainly an interesting thought, but then I, I suppose I'm not. Yeah, okay. I've got, as you say, you've got the age thing. I, would I be scared of change? I, I, not at the moment, I don't think. Right. Is there anything else that you'd particularly like to ask? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What does the future hold? I suppose. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. So if you can just call stop at any point, and I'll deal three cards off the top of the pile when you say stop. Stop. Right, okay. So in answer to your question, what d does the future hold? Um, to be quite honest, um, it holds, um, first of all, um, you're very good at multitasking. And I think that you're going to have little bits and pieces going on all over the place. But I also feel that that's not particularly, it can be a bit annoying. You know, it's almost like doing all these different things and having to kind of like put on these different hats and dif different roles at different times of the day. And it's a bit confusing. So short, this summer can be a very confusing summer for you. You know, it's, it's almost like, what do I prioritise first? What do I go for before anything else? You're quite a how do I put this? It's like, you, as a person, you are not two-dimensional. You're quite, you've got all these different b interests and bits and pieces. You're like a mosaic. Um, and that might work against you in the short term because, it, you know, sometimes if you can only do one thing, you know, like, if you just imagine somebody who leaves school and they can do nothing apart from kick a ball straight into a net, well, then they better go on learn how to play football professionally you know it's kind of like easy it's quite kind of a blessing if you can only do one thing the problem with you is if you can call it a problem is that you can do many many different things and you you are a bit of a chameleon um that can make it confusing in the short term but in the longer term i think you start to land on something you start to actually find yourself going yeah this really turns me on i'm really going to go for this um are you not in a relationship at the moment not at the moment, no. Right, because there, I feel as if one one thing that can happen is this relation, a relationship with somebody. She's a very, very charismatic person, and um, she can um, really um, help you in a way. I mean, I, I, I sort of say this with a bit of trepidation because I don't know whether one should have relationships 
where the other person's defining you. But I think that she could actually bring out of you a sense of um, direction that yeah. you yourself... C- could she be a he? What, possible, yes, right, okay. yes, yes. Um, but it just feels to me as if it's a relationship. And I'm also getting the month of February 2010 as a time for you to actually go, I am now arrogant enough to uh, take it all on. Because I think that um, you are very good at being the centre of attention. But for some reason, there's also a way in which you're stopping yourself from doing that. Um, But I think that your power starts to come in. Um, After a very confusing summer, um, more around about the month of Aquarius, which is late January through February, could coincide with a relationship that's bringing confidence to you. Um, and um, and I think then you, you, you actually start to map things out in a much more, um, I don't know, it's in a much more um, definitive way. Is that okay? That's, that's super. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. All right, Terry, what do you reckon on that lot then? It's good, isn't it? Very good indeed. Very very surprised, <laughs> actually, especially the, the amount of stuff that so true, you know, the stuff yeah. that's just, as you say, all the creative stuff just... Yeah seeping through very very impressed indeed just brilliant thanks so much for being on the show Terry thank you Chris right, speak to you thank soon. you Terry bye, bye. bye. cheers bye bye Terry Turner our, our final caller today now was um, I think we've run out of time oh, unfortunately right. for okay. you to do my reading but we certainly have on the radio however if you're listening to the show on podcasts or indeed watching a video uh, via any of the hosting places that do the video YouTube current TV hang around all right, because you, we will hopefully uh, do my reading, on, but that will only be on the podcast and the video, but not on the radio because we've run out of time on that. Uh, thanks. So hang around. If you're listening on podcast or watching the show, don't disappear. We need to say uh, goodbye to the people listening on the radio. Mick, thanks very much for coming in. You're very welcome. It's been All a right. pleasure. It's been a Thank you. Bit of a job getting Thank here. You very I know. Much. No, it's been great. Okay. Thank you. Any emails about the show? You can't have a reading now because that's come and gone now. But uh, any comments? As always, it's Chris at UnitedKingdomTalk.co.uk. Chris at UnitedKingdomTalk.co.uk. See you on the next show from Mick. Bye. And Take I'll care. see you soon. All right. Bye bye. Right, don't go away. <laughs> We're on podcast and video on only now. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the radio side of things only gives us 57 minutes. And as oh, you see, I see. We just was that live that. then? No, it wasn't live. Oh, it wasn't no, live. no, right, okay, no. Right, but okay. it's uh, recorded yes. and it can't be any longer than 57 be, minutes. Oh, okay, you, but okay. it's always important for me. And you know, I'm like, oh, I'm a bit blowing my own trumpet here a bit. You know, I'm the same with the karaoke. People come first. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you can fit me in at That's the end, it, yeah. all well and good. Yes. So there we are. So very, very interesting. Um, uh, the whole way that you start and everything like that. But not, I mean, not everyone could do it, could they? I think it's a little bit like playing by ear. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Every, everyone You've can learn to You've got to be in tune to certain yeah, things. Yeah, I mean, yes. But I mean, I, th- I, don't, I don't really want to make it exclusive. I mean, I think everybody... It's like, like playing a piano or something like that. You yes, know, you, yes, you would know. yes. Everybody's got the right to kind of have a go mm. and everybody can learn a bit about music, you know. Mm. But some people just kind of like have it you know and they yeah. can hear yes chords absolutely and all this bit, so. i mean i can't i can't play football and i can't right. draw no i too, cannot draw to save my life yeah. if i drew you a picture now you would think it was a two-year-old it really yeah, is as I'm bad like as that, that. I'm, like that. I'm so jealous sometimes of little children you know four and five years old and they draw the most beautiful pictures yeah, yeah. um but they can't play the piano yes and they yes. can't talk yeah so yeah, yeah. This is it. You know, whoever's up above has given yeah. us all different and gifts pieces, yeah. and uh, yeah. collectively, like the Borg. Yes. In Star- yes. Do you watch Star Trek? <laughs> I did do once, yeah, the Voyager stuff. Oh, you haven't yeah, seen I the like... new film then? I haven't seen the new oh, film. Oh, Mick, yet. you don't know what you're missing. Oh. <laughs> I've banged on and on about this oh, really? over the last, yeah, few shows. Oh, is it got the Borg it, in it? it is, no, the... no Borg, oh. but it is fantastic from right. the moment it starts. I don't usually rave about a film very yes. very i can't remember the last time i raved about a film yeah. but this from the moment it starts it's gotcha oh really it's oh. gotcha right till the end and it's a long film right it's about two hours and ten minutes cool. please go and see oh, it Look, here's the money for the you've, blooming you've, tickets you've sold it to me now you've sold it to me <laughs> <laughs> go on let's right. have let's have one final go then right then. okay so we uh, should do me. your cards yeah. then yeah okay so give them a shuffle right. please you want me to shuffle yes, them this time yes. uh, would you normally do this to someone in your yeah yeah right. if they were with okay. me you know this is how you know. is there actually any difference 
between sort of me shuffling them or or yourself over the phone or what if I was to drop these now is that a terrible thing no, no, does it make not. any difference no. at all but I mean it's just a nice way of kind of having a connection with them really yeah. but I mean the thing is you know like I do a lot of uh, phone people and, and it's like a lot of people kind of like they might they might have seen me a couple of times and they've moved away from London or they've moved yes. abroad and they, at first they think, oh, it's not going to work on the phone. And they right. actually become the reg, really regular clients. Yes. Once they've tried it on the phone um, and they realise that they don't need to travel or whatever. I see. So if you so can take, are you right-handed? Uh, in some, I write with my right, I do everything right-handed right, okay. except eat. Okay. I eat the other way around. Okay, so if you, with your left hand, then just take right. out ten. Okay. Uh, Mick has now fanned out the cards in front of me. Okay, and I'm now taking out ten cards. Oh, I don't know where this one's going now. Here we are. Great. There we are. Ten cards there. Thank you. Okay. Lovely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Is this a general reading, is it? Uh, yes, this is just okay. a general past, present, yes. and we can just uh, we can move on to questions if you'd like. It has to be to. said that Mick does know a lot about my past now, not the sordid That's details, true. although <laughs> he has requested them on occasions <laughs> on the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, All what right. have we got here? Um, could you understand yes. that there may well be um, an opportunity that's coming up for the summer and it's in, but it has a historical. It's like um, when something comes back from the past. Yes, like I could. Like a reunion, yes, that's possible. Or an yes. old job, or something like yes, that. Because it just possible. feels to me as if something coming forwards, which is like an opportunity, which is like a new opportunity, but it is somebody from the past or some event from the past. It's mm. a bit like when somebody has the offer of maybe starting a, a relationship up with somebody they used yeah. to be with. You know. Mm. Now I feel that whilst that might be attractive this new opportunity that has this familiarity to it, I think that it will burn out very quickly. <laughs> so it's almost like you go, oh yeah, I familiarity. Knew, I, I know that, I know, you know? that. And yeah. then you go back into it and you go, oh yeah, this is why we stopped. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes, yes. And um, I feel that, um, I feel really, to be honest, um, that you need, you, you need to watch out for insecurity, actually, what it's saying there, the Page of Swords. It sort of feels to me as though um, there's... Um, You've got ideas and so on, but I think you're getting seemingly, according to this, you've got the devil here as well. And it's like the possibility of being jaded. Greatest of respect. What no is jaded? What is well, that? it's a little bit like you tried, it didn't work. You tried, it didn't work. And there's this possibility that you start to kind of give up or you start to go, oh, there's something wrong with me. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's, it's, it's the yes. interpretation that you put on it yeah. um, because it didn't happen before. And um, I think you need to be a bit kinder on yourself. That's what it feels to mm. me like. It, it, to me, it feels like if you get another knockback, mm. and I say this with the greatest respect, I don't mean to no, be nasty. No, that's, you say exactly you what you If you get another knockback, yeah. the prediction there, and what's great about a reading yeah. is that you bring it into awareness now so it yes. can minimise it. And you get another knockback, you are likely to take that really hard. Do you know what right. I mean? And mm. I think that that should be avoided. Do you know what I mean? And okay. I think when you find yourself mm. in that position where you go, oh, yes. you know, just mm. try and say some nice things to yourself because you're likely to come out with some real horrible numbers that you feed yourself. Yes. You know? Well, uh, yes. And you, you do know, of course, um, I've always had a low opinion of, I don't need you to come back and say, oh, no, you're all right, right and all that. I've always had a very low opinion of everything I do. Believe okay. it or not, I have no self-confidence. Right, right. At all. Right. Um, what you're saying there, and I'll, I'll reply so that people know where we are here. Yes, there was a job I did. Uh, I, I, I'm convinced it will come back. Mm. However... I am also pretty sure that I shouldn't go along yeah. that same road again. That's it. it I'm it's... pretty sure. I have always said that you shouldn't go backwards. And it would, mm. without, without any doubt in my mind, it would be going backwards. Mm. And I'm pretty sure, although I thought about it and I thought, oh, yeah, that would be nice again. Mm. Mm. Um, and I, I, I thought, only over the last couple of days, funny enough, 
um, that it probably wouldn't be a good idea mm. to, to take that road again. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. that's exactly what you're saying there. You need, I mean, really, it's, it, it's about... It is about having fresh ideas, but it's um, also about being able to... I, I, I just think with that, it just it, I just want to come back with this about this self talk. Yes, because I think you've got to be a bit kind to yourself. I run myself down all the time. You run yourself, but you can't only to myself, not yes, to other no. people. But if you if you mm. keep doing that, it's going to start to have a, a really. I mean, you've managed to have this going on and still be quite functional. I carry on, yeah. And yeah. the warning here is that a little bit like anything like maybe like smoking or something like yes. that there's a point where it actually starts to have an effect right do you know what I mean and mm. you actually more of you starts to believe it and I think that would be a real shame and I think that um, you need to watch for that you need to watch for that okay yeah. is, it, is there anything I need to watch any person I need to watch do I need to watch out for someone in particular um, or is it just that you know and it could be so many different things it could be a job relationship anything couldn't okay, it really okay yeah Take out three, yeah. What, what what exactly do you need to watch for? Take out three. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we are. So we've just taken out another One, three cards two, from three. the fan of uh, cards yeah. there that he Seven showed me. Seven of coins. All right. Nine of wands and the sun. I think it really, to me, it what you need to watch out for is when things go slow. Something. It's um, almost like being fobbed off. Or being oh. told to wait in a queue, or being told that um, it, imagine that um, somebody uh, has offered you something and then they don't call back yes. and then, when they said they would. Oh yes, and yeah. it's how you interpret that because it could well be that it will come, right. um, and that maybe they are being a bit, you know, kind of uh, slapdash or uncaring um, in right. their yeah. neglect. Yeah. yeah, it's neglect. It's neglect. It's, it's almost like when something is offered and you're like, oh, right, great. Yeah, they're going to call tomorrow. And it doesn't happen. And it yeah. doesn't happen. It, it, it might happen in two months' time. Yeah. And there may be one of these sorts of people, you know, you get these sort of, they go, oh, I've been trying to ring you. Do you know what I mean? And you think, yeah. oh, that's been... That's no, been, you haven't. I've given, I've given, <laughs> I gave up on that weeks ago. But that's yes. what it's about. It's about, you know, it's about an offer, then a, re, then a sort of like an abandonment, mm -hmm. you know, and, and how you interpret that vacuum of space, of time. Um, before you actually get um, before they're ready you know because it, it sort of feels to me as if it's I've got to be got patient patient really, yeah. okay yeah patient. it's about being patient and about um, having so many things going on in yourself and ideas that mm. this one thing isn't too important that, that it can just it can be there brewing away mm. uh, until it's ready really and it does seem to be connected to a bloke yeah right oh is yeah. it yeah oh okay but, you know, okay it, it's sort of somebody who mm, you know particularly important particularly mm. some you know you're giving him a lot of power and doesn't call you know right, and okay. it's what, it could be could work connected too yes you know, yes, it doesn't have to be, you know but fair it seems enough. to be male energy mm. you know all right that you respect for some reason or you give a lot mm. of power to them I'm trying to think who i can't, can't think who at the moment i i don't really give anyone power right, uh, right. they've had it before yes. people have had it before and uh yes once they have it that's it so now yeah. i don't give them power right and, uh, that's yeah. it that may yeah. well perhaps that's why i'm here on my own right there's yeah. a possibility yeah. as well yeah. can i ask about um yes. two, uh, two other things uh, absolutely yes okay I'll just pop these uh back oh do we see. shuffle again do we uh, okay yeah why not it's just fascinates me all of this really does you must get people who are uh, what's what's the word aren't going to believe anything you said oh, yeah. Yeah. from the moment they said i mean and you must sit there and wonder why did you even bother yes. ringing me up That's how do you deal with that so you're Just telling them stuff and that, yeah, yeah. Or, and you can tell they're not even listening. Yeah. How do yeah. you deal with that? Do you tell um, them or what? No, not at all. I just do. I just do my bit. So I just. I just like to give people the freedom to do what they mm. want. You know what it's like when you sort of like if you do and you see. You know, it's like just using karaoke as a sort of like example. Yes. You know when somebody's never sung before. Yes. It's really important what song they yes, sing. Yes. It's yes. really important yeah, how it comes yeah, across. Yeah. But when you've done a few songs. And then nobody listens, or it doesn't quite work that song. Mm. It doesn't. It doesn't affect you in the no, same way. No, not does at it? all. Not at all. No. And same with no, this. You know, no. it's like if if it had been at the beginning, you know, and it had yeah. been my third reading, and they didn't listen, yes. it would have been devastating. But now 
they can do what they like. Mm. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'll just do what I do. You know, do, do you ever get them. people that you, you've sat there, done the reason, they've paid the money, and as they've walked away, you've overheard them say something derogatory about what you've just, just done? Very, very has, rarely. Has that ever happened? Very, very, very rarely. Okay. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah. A couple of times, yeah. 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 But it, goes, hard, you know, it happens to me, you know, yeah. while I'm while I'm DJing somewhere. Really? And uh, I completely shut off to it now, completely hardened yeah. to it. I mean, it, 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 would have, it would have, you'd have crumbled if it was oh like my first God, three yeah. months I've, of DJing. Yes, of so, course, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's why um, I get a lot of um, young people sometimes come and ask me um, about DJing and all this, that and the other. Yeah. And uh, I, and, and, and people who do radio as well, mm. and podcasts and stuff like that. And I try and encourage as much as I can. And often they come back and say, oh, yeah, well, I've been doing this thing. I've got a nasty email. And I say, they they sent that because they want you to respond. Yeah. The best yeah. Day, way to deal with the, the bad comments yeah. is to complete wall of silence. Yes. Say nothing. Yes. Yeah. And then they, they can't, ah, oh, yeah, but he said I was this and yeah, I was yeah. that. And, and I said, no, no, not at all. They're jealous. Yeah. They want to do that and they can't do it. Yeah. So they're, 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 they're having a go at your talent. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I and mean, that, a lot of that's how that I deal with like, it. Yeah. You must get that a lot, actually. People have a really yes. bad day at work. Oh, they come yeah, out they and they can't... don't hear the record they want. Yeah, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> and they, they've got to give oh. it to someone, don't they? You or, know. Or, or they'll... Um, from a DJing point of view, you know, you play the music that most people will know and like. Yeah. You don't choose the Britney Spears album and choose an al- a, a track off it that's mm. never been played on the radio. Yeah. But they happen to like it and they oh, cannot right, understand yeah. why yeah. you can't play that. Yes. Because no one else will know it and yes. everyone will sit down yeah. and I'm being paid yeah, to yeah. try and make people lo- uh, dance. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't yeah. always work. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll so, uh, what... So you said you had a couple of questions. Yeah, they're, so, they're not really attached at all. One was on. finding someone, and Find one and one was my health. Oh, okay. How that's so if you be. can take out uh, a seven for finding someone. Seven, okay. Yeah. Oh, are there different numbers for yeah, different, different questions? Yeah, different types of, th- yes. Okay. Yeah. I didn't think we was going to be here this long. Well, look at that, three at a time. There we are. Oh, that's okay. seven. Fair enough. Okay. Five, six, seven. Right. Um, which one is that? Finding which, someone, is it? This is finding someone, okay. yeah. Um, oh, you're not smiling, it's, Mick. It's, oh, it, it, it really has to be... I think that it's just very intriguing because it starts off, it's almost like when you meet somebody and you don't like them. Do you know what I mean? You just think, oh, he's a miserable so and so. I he, think of most people like that. And, he looks at, and, and then he looks at you and he looks at you and he's kind of like, for some reason, it's almost like the opposite of when you say, oh, first impressions really count. Right, it's yeah. the opposite of that completely because it's almost like in your differences and he will annoy the hell out of you absolutely know the hell out of you and you won't want to say it but something something is is formed through that um i think younger than you and um i think that very very long term consistent and it's almost like it's not because it's not one of these relationships where you go oh he agrees with me on this and and we have a you know it's almost like it's not so much because it's all agreeable it's actually because it's disagreeable and you choose as a couple to work through it Right. And that means that there's commitment there, and that means that there is uh, some kind of um, willingness to actually make it work. And uh, I, I don't think that you meet him at his best. I think right. that you meet him when he's pretty down, which okay. is really, really interesting. Okay. Uh, yes. And I yeah. think th- that, that, over time, you um, actually go, do you know what? I thought he was such a grumpy so and so, but he's really getting under my skin. Right. You know, it's that kind of energy. It's How funny. Very, very odd way around, yeah. How yeah. very, very strange. Yeah. But is it fair to say that there's somebody from the past that still hasn't, that still ha- you haven't let go of? Uh, um, no. Because <sighs> I just feel that there's, I feel that there's an experience from the past and it's still being processed somewhere, you know? Possibly right, right in the back though. Yeah. Right yeah. in the back of the mind, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because it because I just I just see I just it's kind of been suppressed now. Yeah. It's been suppressed. I think, I think I think this new one would be like I think you might start having a connection through an argument. 
Okay. Actually, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, who does he think he is? You know? Yeah. And then, th- and then, and then it's, a, it's a bit like when, you know, you might have an argument and then he might apologise and you might think, oh, okay. You know, right, and, yeah. and it's sort of then from that point, from that really bad start, something develops. And then I'll end up apologising, will I? Well, I, I, I just think that <laughs> the two of you will just like, it'd be like the wrong place at the wrong time, but actually it will be the right place at the right How time. How strange is that? Yeah. yeah. That's completely off the um, off the norm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's it's yeah. It, it, it's that's not normally what, what you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, um, it's certainly there. Um, I just it, don't know when. When timing wise, I I would have thought that it's not that far away. Is I'd it another thought, summer? Romance? I think it could be late summer. I think it could be <laughs> September. Okay. Yeah. All I right. think it could be around about September because mm. I think it's the cusp of summer and autumn. All right. That's. Uh, well, as that, you know I can't play 100% then, yes, that's yes. hopeful isn't it yeah. but I just think that the strength of the relationship is in in actually revealing to each other the, the sort of parts of say like um, you end up coming out very quickly with the stuff you don't like about yourself mm. do you know what I mean yeah. and he does as well so you've actually kind of met each other at um you know, you, there are times in life where you kind of like mm. have your best sort of. I like wonder. Ch- full of charm, and you know, and that that's what they get attracted. Yeah. But it's not that at all. It's actually that you, the shameful or the darker or the sort of like not so proud stuff comes out really quickly, right. and you can deal with it together, and that makes it very deep because there's nothing. I wonder. There's no facade then. When, uh, when this happens. Mm-hmm. Notice I say when. Yes. <laughs> I don't say if, because yeah. we've been down this road three times now, yeah, and you've yeah. been right all yeah. the time. But I bet at that time, I don't realise what's happening. Right. And then right. afterwards, hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yes, yeah, yeah. Probably won't be aware that... No, right. can't, don't be stupid. Can't possibly be. Right. Sort of that in your yeah, mind. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Well, especially with that as well, because you won't yeah. like him. <laughs> you won't like him at all. Like really? No, you'll think Isn't, that Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Because I'm not. I'm, yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I. It's. It's the job I do. Is is hard. There were two people in last night at uh, Belushi's, the, the the bar I do on Saturday night. It was DJ. One person who's a, a young lad and he's quite a regular. And he came in with this girl. And they sat, he's usually quite boisterous with mm. two of his mates. They're all quite young, about 20 yeah. years old. Yeah. And he came up with this girl and they sat on this at team. My God, they were as miserable as sin. Mm. Absolute. And I thought, why on earth have you two got together? <laughs> right. How long have you been? Three days. Right. Three days and they were as miserable as sin. Right. It's funny, isn't it? It's, right. It could be someone like that. It could be. Not him. A straight boy, you know, but... Um, <laughs> Isn't that funny? God. Right. Okay. Okay, what was your last, last thing yeah, then? Yeah. yeah, a health one, please. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Um, so if you take out seven, if then I please. Might. Okay, thank you. Is that three? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know I want that one. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always a bit worrying doing the health ones. Yeah. <laughs> Does that tell you um, past and sorry, that's that's a text message. Oh, coming. okay. Does right. that tell you past or? Well, it just it would sort of suggest to me, you know, where things are strong, where are weak, where things are weak in the present. Okay. Would Would it be fair to say you can say anything? Would it be you fair to, to say you? that yeah. there's there's something that's really worrying you on yes, this issue? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because it really needs taking in hand. Yes. Uh, really the listeners, the listeners, and the viewers know that there was something wrong in January. Right. But. Um, I've never really been willing to share exactly what. Right, yes. And still not now. Although yes. there, there is a there is a, like an underlying problem. Okay. Yeah, which yeah. appear well, no, you you, yeah. you tell first and I'll I'll come back to this. All, all, all it's it doesn't look um as as good as I would like to have seen it. Um it, it feels to me as if something that there's something weak and there's something that could let you down. It's almost like the carpet being pulled from under your feet. Right. And you need to monitor it. You know, you yes. need to be able to monitor it. At the moment it feels like you're um, worrying about it 
and, and, and just kind of adding to the stress of it by, by mentally adding stress to mm-hmm. it, if that makes sense. I mean, a lot of healers will say that our thoughts create chemical responses in our body and hormone oh, changes. Oh, I, I believe that the mind yeah. and the body are yeah. connected. And I think that your mind is full and busy and no. is worried about this. And, and it, it feels to me, and I say this with the greatest of respect, it doesn't feel like the way that you're thinking about it is helping. Right. Okay. Um, and I think things do need to be organised. It seems to be very complicated, you know, and it's not a straightforward thing. Um, but I would just, I would, I would really not feel good saying, don't worry, everything's fine. Yes. Get on with it. Do you know what I mean? Because this is the time now to actually get it organised. Right. Really. Okay. Just, just, just to get, without wanting to be paranoid, it's about kind of getting the right advice you know from from yes. from the right people and listening to it and 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 not taking it for granted and then you can manage the situation but it does look like a situation that needs to be managed hmm. yeah okay it is a situation yeah and it does appear to be being managed quite well good that, that's all good. i'll say yeah yeah cool. um the worrying thing i think yes i was terribly worried right. a, a couple of months ago right. at this moment in time no, right. because what they are doing is appearing to manage the situation. Right, good. In good. fact, it's doing it very well, good. as yeah. I was told the last time I visited uh, yes. where I have to go. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, so that, that's probably yeah. right. I mean, you know, I do feel you You know, there's a bounce back there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You still love life and, you yes. know, you're going to go for, the, you know. But I just feel that this is not you mm. for six, I, really. I think... If I can go back uh, maybe one or two readings ago, and we are mm. going back some years, five yeah. or six years, and I, I'm sure you told me you you would have a health issue, but you will get over it. Yeah, right. So, I and I, as far as I'm, I know, mm. I've kind of had it now. Yes. And we're now yes. on the road going yeah. back up very, yeah. very slowly. It's like yeah. a long-term thing. Yeah. So, yeah. there we are. But could, could, could there be a change in diet that needs to happen to uh, help? That's already happened. Yeah. Right. That oh, well, you're already on top yeah. of it then. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, the diet was good before. Yes. I knew. Yeah. Um, and that has kind of helped me not drop down too far. Okay. Yeah. Before they started, before the doctor started looking after me. Right. Okay. Yeah. And I'm I'm pretty convinced uh, when I when I went in, mm. uh, he did say I'm surprised you haven't come any in anything with much, something really serious. Right. With the level that you are at. All now. right. Yeah. Okay. However, you haven't. So mm. let's yeah. carry on, and yeah. we can sort this out. And the one thing that the doctor was w- would say to, he kept saying it time and time again. You will be fine as long as you do exactly as we tell you that's to. That's it, that's it. And I was told um, that the only time we have a problem is usually with younger people who know better. That's it, that's exactly it. That's exactly And he the sat there, he sat there and yeah. said to me um, that uh, after, after the whole spiel, the most fantastic doctor in the world yeah. I've got. Yeah. I'll tell you. It's yeah. not my local one. It's in somewhere, right? Okay. okay? Yeah, yeah. He's the... Oh, just a, a fantastic doctor. Yeah. Really is. And the one thing he keeps saying is that you're older. You've sat there and listened to everything I've told you. He said, you will be fine right. because of that. Okay. Just do what we tell you to do. Yeah. And this is six months away. Now, what are we in? June now? Well, yeah, it'll June. be June now, yeah. yeah. Um, January, February, March, April, May. So that's, so that's five months. So yeah. we'll call it five months. Five months down the line, I've yeah. come up like that. Good. Right up. Good. And uh, yeah. I was told a couple of weeks ago that I am now the perfect patient. Oh, right. Well, so, good. good. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the whole diet thing. Well, I changed that kind of last year. A lot more fruit, a lot more veg. Mm. They're the things. Very, not much red meat at all and all that yeah. business. But I've... And, you know, I do exercising and and swimming and all that business. So that was all in Mm. my favour. So when I went in to see them, yes, a a, a level of something was very low. Mm. And he was surprised, as I say, that I hadn't gone in with anything really serious. But I'm convinced it's because of my lifestyle Mm. that that's why I hadn't become Mm. very bad. Although lots of little things were going wrong there was an ulcer in my mouth yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. listeners and viewers yeah. know about it. there was an ulcer uh, I had a sore throat yeah. um, and uh, what, what else what was the other thing 
uh, I can't remember what the other thing was. But but, but wasn't and, and and when you realise that there is something wrong, when you find out, yes, mm. actually, there's something wrong. Suddenly, lots of other little things over a long period of time, suddenly, 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 that's a good yeah. word. Suddenly, made sense. Right. You yeah. understood why all these. Mm. other little things it mm. now makes sense mm. why should that happen mm. why d- why mm. does that keep mm. happening mm. why do i have to keep going to the to yeah, the yeah, dentist yeah, for yeah, that yeah, and yeah, yeah, lots yeah. of little things and suddenly mm. they all made sense okay and yeah. since january gradually mm. very very slowly mm. all these little things have stopped good right but it's not yeah. a like okay that's sorted let's yeah. move on yeah. can't do that no. it has no. to be as you said yeah. managed yes yeah. It does have to be monitored and managed yes. very, very carefully. Yeah. Can't take it and granted. the other thing is, I, I always believe this sort of thing. You know, if there's something wrong with you, it's all very well going to the doctor. There's some pills. Mm. It's down to you as well. Yeah. yeah, it can't just be chemically sorted. No, no. You have to take control. Yes, you have to do what they do, mm. but there are things you have to do as mm. well yourself. Mm. And I really believe eating properly mm. Mm. and. Um, and exercising yeah you know mm. I don't not have a bar of chocolate yeah okay but yeah. I don't have one every blooming day right and the same with the crisps yeah I don't not eat crisps yeah. I don't have a bag every day right uh, so I do eat a little bit here and there but yeah I believe that so that's that's mm. a pretty good uh, mm. thing okay do you want to take a final three yes well, is there okay. anything else yes. you want to ask about no I don't think there's anything okay. else actually just no. take out a final three very to happy. wrap it up if you don't mind very happy right. and then we'll uh, we'll disappear okay See, it was worth worth <laughs> you getting the podcast or watching the show today, wasn't it, eh? There we are. One, two, three. Thank you. Lovely. Thanks, Chris. Oops. And what's this one, one for? Two, just, just, just a, a sort of last message to okay. reading up the Ten of Swords. One message, okay. Six of Cups. And the Page of Coins. Seems to me you are going to change your mind about somebody that you know really well. You're going to change your mind that, about somebody that you know really well, but in a good way. So, again, it just feels like coming back to this thing about, you know, mm. kind of um, familiarity, somebody coming from yes. the past. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yeah. And in this particular instance, it seems to me as though by changing your mind about assumptions that you had about that person mm. or that familiarity, um, you then kind of go that makes sense now this this makes sense and now you and then you can move forwards and right. leave it behind you know okay so yeah. it, it feels yeah. to me as if you're getting clear I getting wonder clear. Who, who is this person from the past <laughs> you're getting clear is it the same is. person that's going to be miserable dear <laughs> you're getting clear anyway and, it, and, and I think once you've got clear about you know what was actually going on yeah. then you stop giving yourself a hard time your ambitions flow your plans flow and you, okay. you're kind of like more at peace with yourself Brilliant. Well, Mick, the good news is I've never considered you miserable. Right. So I don't think it's going to be you. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can well, be miserable sometimes, but well, there you go. Thanks very, very much <laughs> no, for coming you. in. It's, no, it's, it's much appreciated. I know yeah. you've uh, had a bit of a job getting here today. No, didn't you? I, I quite like the sat nav. Was, it, was it the M25 where you got caught? It didn't turn me on the sat nav. Well, it might have done if oh, I right. had gone that way. Where did you get I, caught? Um, I didn't get caught anywhere, but it just took me. What it did is it said. Um, there's delays, so we're going to take you on this route, and it was all back roads route, and I was all, I was oh, moving really? all the time, okay. then forty, yeah, which was clear, but I think it took me on a longer route, right? Because it's possible that the M25 Did might have country been roads. It would just, it, yeah, it would just all you've, seem a bit towny. You've got a good set now, haven't you? I See like mine. Myself. I've had mine for oh, blimey eight years. Do you mm. know how much it cost me? Uh, Seven hundred pounds. Really? Eight years right. ago, yeah. but. I don't, uh, it was an awful lot of money, but I don't regret buying that because no. it's got me to my sister. Okay. And I could not go to my sister now. She lives in Lincolnshire. Yes. And um, I, I, my one of my worst aspects is I have no sense of direction at oh, all. Oh, you see? Oh, really? And I'm, yes, I, I I'm panic when I'm lost. Yeah, yeah. I it's panic not Some people, oh, I think, big the, time. I think the trick is, or what, I've, what I've picked up, is like if you're the sort of person that can get lost and go, hmm, this is very interesting, let's get the map out, oh. this is really fast, then you're all right, but, but I, I don't. But I get the map out I and don't. I look at the map and it might as well be written in yeah. Chinese. Yeah, and I was a scout. 
Really? I should be yeah. able to do I, all I this. I thought you'd have had a better sense of direction. Oh actually. no, it's my worst. My worst thing is um, is, is sense of direction. It's dreadful. Okay. So I bought this thing a, a while ago, and it gets me from A to B. But you yeah. you you told you told me your one tells you where the traffic is and all that. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what make is that then? It's a. It's called a Tom Tom Live. Tom Tom Live. Uh, yeah. Because it's like. So the idea is that it's always. Um, uh, apparently what it does is it's like it's sort of like I don't know they've got something going with the mobile phones so like if if it, if it notices loads of mobile phones standing still you know how mobile phones move oh yeah you know how police can sort of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No yeah. so it monitors if there's loads of mobile phones sitting on the M25 then it electronically whatever registers that as a traffic jam okay you know, so it's monitoring all these different that's things that's fascinating I, did, and, I didn't uh, know and that so it says oh you know uh, we've got a faster route for you do you want to take this faster route we can knock off seven minutes how much was this unit it was 270 quid 270 you see there you can get them there for 80 quid but you obviously they won't them, do yeah. all that will they no you, but I mean you know I mean I don't know if it's per, you know there's, 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 it's about is there a subscription for that yeah you've got to I mean three. I'm on my three month trial because I only bought okay. it about a month ago and then after that, it's uh, seven fifty a month. I think I will though, because mm. I just think it's just awful. You seven know, fifty, some hundred pound a year, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, I don't know. I, I think I will. I mean, I'm, I mean, mine I gets me like from A to B, but I get, I can get caught in traffic. It won't take me yeah. away from that. There is no push a button, get an alternative no. route. That this just this one does as well. Right. I, I'm still, t- you know, I've been stuck in traffic with this one, and I think to myself, well, is it not working, or is it just that there is no route? Yes. That, you know, is this, you know, do you know what I mean? Because mm. it keeps saying to me, "You are still on the fastest route," and you're thinking, "Oh, I'd like to see what the slowest one is." <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I'm not saying it's like perfect, you know. Wow. But, um, you know. Okay. Give us your website again. www dot. Was that was that three W's? Oh yeah. Www dot. We leave that bit out now. Yeah. www dot com and Wysocky is spelled W Y S O C K Y J. All one word, michaelwysocky.com. There we are. <laughs> Thank you. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm glad you stayed, uh, those of you that uh, bothered to download the podcast, or indeed uh, watch it here on the unitedkingdomtalk.tv. As always, uh, send us an email, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. See you on the next show. From myself, Chris, goodbye. And Mick, goodbye. See you soon. Bye-bye now.